Too many families, summer cottages, and vacation homes are the source of generations of coming of age memories and special moments. But changing circumstances sometimes make selling the getaways more practical than keeping them. But what do these homes say about the concept of community? And once they're sold, how does it affect people? The WSJ's Claire Ansbury is here to discuss. Welcome to you, Claire. Hi, it's good to be here. Uh, you've spoken with lots of people who've derived part of their identity even from these summer homes. Tell me how these properties impact families and individuals. Well, these are the places where you people would gather big family re reunions year after year. Uh, the aunts, the uncles, the extended family would, would only meet sometimes once a year there and engagements, births were announced and they just became a source of a lot of traditions and happy family memories. And when they're sold, people have a hard time departing from them. I know in my family, it was hard to let go of a property that we had. And it, it often leads to family rifts on the subject. Have you seen that? Well, it, it can happen. And that's the really difficult thing because, you know, when you have a tradition like that, you know, it's, it's sort of a glue that connects the family members. And there's a real fear of letting that go because you want people to be connected. But, you know, as, as people change, as their circumstances change, it's, it's really hard to maintain those traditions. And, you know, some of the, the tension or the conflict could be, you know, if someone can't attend a reunion, are they seen as being disabled? loyal or if yeah. someone decides geez you know we have to sell the house um, is is that seen as a sense of betrayal of future mm. generations like you're taking something from us yeah well tell me more about some of the families you talked with about their homes what distinguishes uh, these communities well like the lakeside community uh, which the column is based on it's it's a gated community and it's more than a hundred years old and you have so many homes and cottages in that area where people have been going for generations you know the, the great-grandparents and then the grandparents and the, and the parents and they've been gathering there for for generations so there's a real continuity uh, there's a repetition and there's a real emotional significance to it what's the thing you like most about talking to all these people I think it's the the whole sense of the the special feeling that they have for these communities, and it's it's really intangible. Um, Robert Putnam, uh, who wrote Bowling Alone, and is the real. Um, authority on community grew up in Lakeside or spent about seven years and he said it's sort of a feeling that you can't explain um, to anyone who hasn't had that experience. He said that you know people can live all over the country for the rest of the year and have completely different lives and no connection with each other but once they pass through these gates they have sort of a, a kindred spirit and you know a sense of appreciation for the community and its familiarity and its continuity and also it's safety. Uh, you know, one of the things that a lot of parents said is, you know, this is a place where you can be comfortable letting your kids go because you know they'll be safe. Claire, really heartwarming story. Thank you very much. Thank you.